It's that time of the year again. The leaves are falling, temperature is dropping, and your schedule just keeps getting busier and busier. And that's why we've partnered with Factor to take the stress out of meal planning this autumn. Factor delivers ready-made meals right to your doorstep. Their teams of gourmet chefs create delicious meals that are always fresh and never frozen. Now to celebrate this season, for a limited time, Factor is serving specialty fall favorites. Things like cranberry pecan chicken. And yes, it's pecan, it's not pecan. Grilled filet and truffle mushroom tortellini. And many more. These gourmet meals are ready in just two minutes. No prep, no mess, just good food. They even offer calorie smart and protein plus options so you can tailor your food to your diet. And I don't know what it is, but when it comes to meal prepping in my household, it is like the number one battleground for arguments with my spouse. But Factor says, hey, we got you. And with these delicious meals ready in two minutes, Factor is literally saving relationships out here. Now, if you're interested in trying Factor, head on over to factor75.com or you you can click our link down below and using code ASACROSS50 will give you 50% off on your first Factor box. That's 50% off guys, which is a hell of a deal. Big shout out to Factor for sponsoring today's video. Guys, we need to talk about auto rifles. Now I know some of you probably don't care about ever using an auto rifle inside of PVP. For those people, I say good luck because next week we are about to be balls deep in an auto rifle meta. Now I know some of you are probably thinking, Cross, aren't we kind of already in one? 450 round per minute auto rifles have incredible range, substantially more than what they had pre-season 22. And you're right, but keep in mind, auto rifles are getting a range nerf. Mentioned in the most recent TWAB, Bungie is really targeting 450 round per minute auto rifles. And they're going a step further in targeting Ammit specifically. Because not only is Ammit going to be getting the blanket range nerf, it's also getting its zoom reduced from 17 to 15. Now, even though zoom doesn't necessarily increase range, it does help with target acquisition at those extended ranges, even past damage fall off. For instance, if you've been in a 1v1 duel and the target in front of you actually dives behind cover, but somehow, some way, your shot still lands despite them being outside of damage fall off range, that's because zoom does still have an effect there, albeit not as beneficial as it was before when it used to boost range. But you could tell from this TWAB, guys, that Bungie really wants to target 450 round per minute auto rifles, but they decided to hit every auto rifle considering that the range has jumped up tremendously. They even gave us a chart here showcasing that pre-season 22, auto rifles at base had a floor of 17.2 meters and a ceiling of 33.2 meters. But that jumped up tremendously this season with a floor of 18.28 and a ceiling of 39.53. I mean, we're talking pulse rifle territory. And as you know, Bungie really wants certain weapon types performing in specific ranges. Hence why they call the range changes range compression. Now the floor is dropping back down to 17.2 meters. The ceiling is at 37.2 meters. And what this means is that the linear scale here for your range stats is going to mean a lot more. Now, before my auto rifle enthusiasts are doom and gloom about this update, fret not. Because on the horizon, we also have a damage buff, specifically targeting adaptive auto rifles. These being our 600 round per minute archetype. They're reducing the ADS damage fall off scaler from 1.7 to 1.6. So again, still getting the range nerf, but they're increasing the base damage from 14.2 to 5 to 15. They're also increasing our critical damage, increasing it from 22.8 to 23.3. Now, what does this mean time to kill wise? Well, currently right now, 600 round per minute auto rifles in the game have a time to kill or an optimal time to kill value of 0.8 seconds, requiring eight crits and one body. A lot of people don't realize how good the TTK is on base 600 round per minute autos. Now, currently to get that 0.8 second TTK value, again, eight crits, one body, but that's for tier eight resilience or less. You can actually score the kill at seven crits, two body on tier two resilience or less, but at tier 10 resilience and tier nine, in order to reach that 0.8 TTK value, you need to land all nine crits. Now post 600 round per minute auto rifle buff, you will be able to land eight crits, one body, and still secure the kill on tier 10 resilience guardians or less. As a matter of fact, at tier six resilience and less, you can reach that 0.8 second time to kill value with seven crits to body. So nothing is really changing time to kill wise, but it is added forgiveness. On top of that, with the right roll, especially a high range roll, you have a 600 round per minute auto rifle that can shred. Again, I know the focus is on 450s, but we have been using 600 round per minute auto rifles pretty much all week. And it's amazing just how deadly this archetype is even currently. But without a doubt, you need the right roll, which takes us to 600 round per minute auto rifles you should be looking out for. The obvious ones, 
Lord Oryx Onyx. We recently touched up on Suro's Regime, and Suro's is such an interesting one because it is a 600 round per minute auto rifle by default, but it has like this focus fire mode that turns into a 360 and essentially makes it a full auto scout rifle. Keep in mind though, this actually received a range nerf this past season, as in it did not get the benefits that so many other weapons got after the range changes. The part of Suro's Regime that did receive those range benefits though was the spinning up portion. The 600 round per minute version of Suros is what actually got the range buff. So not only do you have high range with his auto rifle, but you also have an extremely fast time to kill value. Getting as low as like 0.67 and in some cases 0.53 when fully maxed out. We use it all inside of trials guys and even currently it's impressive how well Suros does. Now another 600 round per minute auto rifle is one that just got an exotic catalyst and it is so good. Monte Carlo. I don't know what it is about Monty. It just flinches the piss out of Guardians. Maybe it's high caliber rounds, but whatever the case, Monty is heavily overlooked. Next on the exotic list, we have Hard Light. Now, Hard Light isn't as good as it was before. When I say as it was before, I'm talking about when it used to have unlimited range. Remember, at one time, Hard Light had no damage fall off, and it was the meta, but Bungie removed that. And what drags Hard Light down now is actually its stats. Its stats are not that strong. I mean, 40 range, you start to feel not only its damage fall off, but also its target acquisition. Now I know it's exotic catalyst gives you benefits based on the elemental type you're using. Things like void helping out with target acquisition, arc giving you more range and stability. These are great benefits, but personally, even when taking advantage of this exotic catalyst, I found that hard light was struggling. Now moving on to our legendary weapons. Guys, I'm going to be throwing down some legendary auto rifles that you may or may not have. I don't even have all of them, but if you do, these are going to be some very solid choices next week. Number one, the summoner. This is the Trials of Osiris auto rifle. There is an adept version, and yes, it has a number of very good trait combinations, and at one time was also the meta. It will be returning fiercely next week, especially for my folks that have that right roll. Number two, we have the last breath. Now listen, I never actually got a good roll last breath. I wish I did. And for my folks that actually have that dynamic sway adagio roll, now is your moment to shine. Again, I wish I had this roll, but I don't. Next, we have the classic gnawing hunger. I'm sure some of you kept this inside of your vault, unless you're like me and you deleted it to make for vault space. But great combinations, man. You've got things like Zim Moment Kill Clip, which is really nasty. Tap the trigger if you want. I will say though, Zim Moment is a great trait now for mouse and keyboard users. It's always been a great trait for controller users, but it's a great trait for mouse and keyboard users, and it makes your weapon an absolute laser. Take a look in your vault, guys, and see if you got it. Next, we have the Coronac 22. This is a Suros auto rifle that I know a lot of us probably don't have, but it does have some really good trait combinations. It's got Zim moments. It's also got surplus. It also has target lock. And with it being a Suros weapon, you'll be taking advantage of that origin trait Suros synergy, where reloading grants the weapon bonus handling and reduces incoming flinch for a short time. Is it time for Coronac to be meta? I don't know. Maybe. Next, we have Scathe Lock. Listen, there is a cult out there that loves Scathe Lock. Now, I will say it does have some decent trait combinations with very good range. And you can roll things like heating up, surplus, with perk combinations like Rampage or even Eye of the Storm. And Eye of the Storm on an auto rifle is pretty interesting. But check your vaults, guys. You might just have this god roll. Now, the newest 600 round per minute auto rifle right now is this strand auto rifle called Old Sterling. I do not have a good trait combination, but it does have some interesting combos. Things like surplus, adagia. It's got some half decent range. Granted, I'm only bringing this up just in case you do have that god roll. I have not actually used this inside of PvP. Currently right now, it's sitting at a 2.8 rating inside of Crucible, which is definitely not good. I'm curious to know though, does it hang? Another 600 round per minute auto rifle is Sorrow's Verse. You remember when this was dropping left and right? Dude, I had so many. And you know what? I never really kept a god roll. I did keep one. I have this one right here. Snapshot in dynamic sway with pretty high range. Like we can get almost up to 80 range with this thing. Granted, his recoil direction is terrible, but this weapon had so many trait combinations. I have no idea if it's really going to be good or not. I never really got caught up in using it, but it is a 600 round per minute auto rifle to look at in your vault. Now, finally, the auto rifle that I do believe is going to be meta and the one that I am using pretty much at all times currently is Perpetualist. This is a strand auto rifle that's also a 600 round per minute auto. It was introduced in season 20 as part of the season defiance activity and everything on paper with this weapon originally was pretty solid. And with it being a craftable weapon, you could of course choose the best trait combination
combinations possible. But if you use this weapon before, you probably were left wondering, why does it feel bad? I can tell you right now, guys, after the range changes, it doesn't feel that way, man. It feels good. This auto rifle with the right trait combinations is deadly. Now, that's different for everybody, but for me, it is keep away that being the enhanced version and target lock also being the enhanced version. And next week, we're going to really get into target lock on 600 round per minute auto rifles and just see how much it really shifts things. But where it currently sits, it definitely adds forgiveness. In Perpetualist, I felt like I was able to engage in 1v1s, and as long as I can maintain my reticle on the targets, I would win that 1v1. And look, this is coming from someone that was trying to use it a few seasons ago. We were going to review Perpetualist, and I was like, dude, this auto rifle is just so bad. I don't even want to review it. Like, it's solid for PvE, but for PvP, I was just not liking it. Now, though, that has completely changed. This is an auto rifle, guys, that I highly advise you locking down. So there you go, guys. Now, I know there are other auto rifles out there, other 600s probably that I miss. These are the ones that I have my eye on. If you have any that you want to suggest, feel free to comment them down below. And again, 450s are still going to be strong. I just suspect that starting next week, 600s are going to take the number one spot in the auto rifle meta. Guys, if you're interested in actually joining us when we're testing things live, we're live every Tuesday as well as every Thursday. Come over to our Twitch stream. We'll be diving into all the changes together as well as experiencing Festival of the Lost, which is the Halloween event that will be launching next week. So come join us. Fellas and ladies, thank you all for coming and watching. And as always, slap that like button like your mama told you right.